<laughs> Today, I'm making a good old fashioned traditional Pittsburgh traditional steak hoagie from Peppy Sandwich Shop. I'm using my plug in skillet because my kitchen is set up so awkwardly that it makes it hard to get a good focus on what I'm doing. When I'm doing it, but first I have to dice some vegetables. So, um, onions. Let me show you my ingredients. Of course, tomatoes. I got these rustic sandwich buns, hoagie buns, hot banana peppers, an empty jar of garlic. Now, I know y'all gonna talk crap, don't talk crap. Because I got some white goo that I was gonna trim down. I don't feel like doing it. I'm gonna just be honest. Turn this off. We don't want that type of issue here. Yeah. Italian sausage that goes in a big wheel. Uh, some of the best cheese on the market right now. Timber. Timber. I've been pronouncing that wrong the whole time. Mushrooms that don't really go in the big willow, but I'm putting them in there anyway because I put mushrooms in anything. A super big potato for fries. Red pepper. Tomato. Onion. Lettuce. More tomato. Oatmeal cream pies. And the way. I got some steak seasoning. I'm going to put y'all up on. But I'm going to use... I may be misspoken, but here it is, buttery steakhouse. This is killer. So I'm gonna chop all this stuff up and get fried, and I'll get. You said to turn it back on while I chop. This is my Valhalla, Dell Strong Valhalla. Blade, sharp as hell. Add some red peppers for color, for flavor. Just chopping my half once. Y'all know peppers take so long to cook. So I wanna get them going. Sick of cleaning the stove look old school. Stove laying on top of that junk. Little piece of green pepper. We got parmesan cheese. I'm gonna add some sharp cheese. Probably just for the fact that it's stringy. It got a decent taste, but I'm gonna parcel the pro sharp. So that's what I use. Oil. I mean I ain't gonna record. I'm the type of guy that'll put onions on anything and believe that people that don't eat onions are the devil. It's probably why I never get sick. It's two coarse chops. Try to get some onions in the pot too, not just on the floor. Turn the heat down a little bit to jump out the pot. Good color combo right there. Keep them in the pot, you banks. I'm gonna let them spin up for a minute. 
I chopped my tomatoes. That's one of the guys I follow on uh, YouTube, say tomatoes. So now I've been doing it wrong the whole time. So I cut mine in long, thin strips. Half a piece of this lettuce off. Don't want to need too much if I'm only making one. I'm gonna get this brew and I'll get back with y'all. Got all my stuff chopped up. Everything in the pan. Just trying to soften these peppers up. I'm about to put my potato on. Little mushrooms, just like a little onions. Just give me an update. Just put the meat in and hit it with some garlic. Butter and steak seasoning. Accent. Tony's no salt. Onion powder. Italian seasoning. Stick was this paper thin. <laughs> be good. This is one of the meals you're going to have to eat it take two steps back fall right on the couch, Jack. I had to plug my phone in. Look at this mess. Be back with this done cooking. We got some hot action now. Everything mixed up, meat's done. I made way more than I thought I was going to. So what I'm gonna have to do is take some out so it'll be right and I lay that cheese across it. Put it to one side so I can flip it out with it. The spatula. Sharp. White American shot. Sharp. Same company. Tell them both. That should be enough cheese to do the bead. I'll show y'all a finished product. Got my little spatula. Steak spatula. That ain't gonna work. 
I try to do something fancy. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. We get it how we live. One half up, slide it on. The other half up, slide it on. Get the crumbs. Dump them on the top. Mm. You can dress this however you want to dress it. I got lettuce, tomato, banana pepper. I got some fries over there. I'm going to plate it up. I guess I could have left it off for that. Right? Didn't mean to shut y'all out. When your bread don't connect when you make something like this, it's like a beard that don't connect. I got a special little additive for that. Yeah, down with that. Give me a little hit of that. Turn it upside down because all the herbs and stuff always be in the bottom. Hit it with that. Happy mob. Bust it in half. Mm. Meat and cheese everywhere. Don't get no better than that, folks. Let's see. I'll give you a close up. I do is add the fries. Now I won't eat all these fries, but just to give y'all a visual, 